Hello, my name is Jody Holmes, and this is a screencast for EpCheck, an application I developed for the new apps for the New Year promotion at DonationCoder.com. Now, when you first start up EpCheck, you're presented with an interface like this, and the first thing you will want to do is add some TV shows. You can either click the toolbar button to search for a series, or go to the Options tab and start typing in some show names. There are several ways to add a show. You can either double click a row, you can right click and choose Add Series, you can highlight a row and click the Add Series button here, or uh, if you just hit the up and down arrows and return, and it'll just add the show for you. Uh, this way you can uh, quickly add shows because the uh, focus is returned to the search string, so you can just keep hitting the up arrow keys <coughs> and uh, quickly add some series. So we're going to add uh, five series here. We're going to add Sherlock, Elementary, uh, Big Bang Theory. And we'll add uh, a show called Grimm. Now depending on how many uh, banner images a show has created for it, uh, we'll determine how long it takes to download. Uh, show A popular show like Big Bang Theory uh, has quite a few banners. And I'll show you those here in a minute. We'll add Grimm. And finally, we will add uh, Mythbusters, which I'm sure a fair percentage of you guys are familiar with. So once you add your shows, you can go back to the Series tab. and your shows will be here uh, just like this. If you uh, highlight a show, uh, you'll see all the show's data here in this larger list view. Uh, you'll see a series summary down here in uh, this little field. You can resize these to uh, you know, fit however you like. Uh, clicking on, you know, obviously on the different shows here will load that show's data. You can click on the banner ads, or not really ads, but just banner images up here to cycle through. Um, and so like let's say a show for the Big Bang Theory which has quite a few seasons in it so far. Um, there's another way to group these. If you hit the group button up here you get kind of a you know a little group season view here which is a little easier to read at times I think. You can right click and you can do a tvdb.com web search for a certain uh, episode or do Google, Bing, DuckDuckGo and Wikipedia searches for an episode. If you right click on a uh, series you can do the same for that series as well. Uh, the tvdb.com website is uh, community driven so if you see some, uh, some incorrect data or whatnot, you can go to the site and you're encouraged to correct it and uh, add more entries or you know whatever you need to do. It's kind of like a Wikipedia in that way. If you need to uh, <coughs> excuse me, refresh uh, series data, you can do that here and you can also delete a series uh, and whatnot. Uh, if you click on a episode here, uh, the series summary changes to an episode summary so you can kind of get a quick update or uh, quick display of uh, what a, uh, uh, a given episode is about. Um, if we go to the weekly tab, you'll see uh, kind of a neat weekly view here. It shows you uh, one day back and then today's episodes showing here and then in the future. Now this is controlled through the options tab right here. You can specify how many days back to show and how many future days to show and you can also change the uh, color so like let's say we wanted our future shows to show up in orange change it to orange <coughs> come back here and those are in orange um, we'll change it back to green there's a couple more options here the startup tab uh, obviously self-explanatory depending on uh, if you want to like say start it up with the weekly tab you can do so here uh, the episode display format so if we look here and we see these, it means S01, E01, that means Season 1, Episode 1. But certain people like it in certain ways, so I've uh, 
coded in uh, quite a few options. If there's one here that you don't find, uh, let me know and I'll add it. Um, the automatically scroll episode list to bottom, this is what this does. Let's say like a show like um, Big Bang Theory. You know, obviously the newer shows are going to be at the bottom. You'll notice that it scrolled all the way to the bottom when you select the series over here. That's what that option does. And if you do a move the to the end of the series name, it'll do something like this. Let's say we uh, deleted this series. We want to delete it from the list. And we will check this option and we'll add it again. We'll add the Big Bang Theory again. If we go back here, you'll notice it's been added with the the at the end of the uh, string, so it sorts with the Bs. Uh, a couple more options. The uh, language, you can choose from the following. Now, keep in mind that uh, not all languages are available for all series. Again, this is a community-driven site, so it's uh, you know dependent upon what people have put into the site. If a language is not available for a series, English is used. And the other caveat to this is that series data uh, is stored locally on your computer. So if you change a language after adding a series, you need to refresh that series data. Um, you can do that by you know, right-clicking here and choose Refresh Series Data. Or you can simply choose the Refresh All Series Data Now, which when you click that, it'll grab the, uh, the new data there. Uh, final option here, refresh data every, you know, so many days, and it's kind of a smart update, meaning it will only update the series that tvdb.com has updated. So it doesn't uh, update everything if it doesn't need to, whereas this button here does update everything, whether it needs it or not. A um, couple more things. You can do uh, click the Always on Top button if you want to keep this window on top of everything else. And these buttons here they uh, simply scroll to the top and bottom of the list you really very quickly so you don't have to uh, you know say scroll all the way up that type of thing so there you go uh, app check thanks